Hi viewers, so uh, uh -huh. last weekend I went on a two day ride to uh, the uh, National Park, um, uh -huh. Sundown National Park, which is uh, quite a rocky uh -huh. track uh -huh. in. We did uh, as much dirt uh -huh. from Bow Desert as we could to, uh -huh. to get down Stanthorpe kind of area and then um, went in it's a 17k um, section from the start of the national park to burrows waterhole where we um, had booked our camping sites thanks neil um, and as you can tell from the bike it was a bit wet places heading in there uh, and I made the cardinal sin with an 890 rally of not wiping down my forks before I set off again the next day uh, which meant that I had mud on the bottom of my forks and it's such so, there's so many uh, water erosion mounds or uh, whatever you, you want to call them that are graded into the road there that you're just continuously jumping and landing jumping and landing that um, on my brake side, for a change, I've uh, pushed some dirt up into the seal and uh, made it leak, which is on the ride home uh, leaked onto my bash plate and uh, obviously leaked uh, everywhere on the on the front wheel. So I'm just going to run through how quick it is to do the seal, and I'll do it from start to finish. Um, then at the end of that we'll just pull the seat off and have a look at the air filter after two days of riding with another couple of guys. So I'm not sure whether this will be a separate video um, just about the fork seal or um, it'll be tacked onto the end of the ride report but uh, yeah I'll speed up some bits uh, maybe where I uh, go uh, a bit slow but I might get you down a little bit closer and uh, we'll go from there. So I've got the bike up on the um, pro lift stand just so that uh, the forks are fully extended to get them up high. Uh, all you need is a T30 bit to uh, take off your um, fork guard. Uh, flat bladed screwdriver that you can get a bit of torque on. Now um, one of the things I've seen people struggle with is how to get this dust seal off and there's no point running your uh, homemade piece of plastic from a drink bottle or one of these fork savers into your um, dust cap and it's got a rubber ridge um, and you've actually got to push push the blade in and then turn it while the blade is down at a 45 degree angle and that'll actually push the seal down without damaging it so so you're going in at this angle not not straight like this because you'll just break this lip off off the dust seal so once it's down then you can use your screwdriver to push it down all around until it's loose and you can see the oil that came out of there. Uh, naturally you need paper towels and degreaser to uh, get your work surface clean and you can see down the bottom here that there is mud uh, which is from what actually caused this mud to be, uh, the, this dirt to be pushed up into my seal was I didn't wipe the bottom of my fork seal so um, then the next day that was hard and dry when the forks went all the way down because these are uh, <clears throat> your cone valve forks they're set up with a little bit of a looser seal uh, to have less stiction and everything else but this is one of the, the things you do have to be careful with it so this is obviously going to leak a bit of oil out uh, now because I've got it here, I'll um, just use this, which you um, clip on, push in, 
push up into the seal, run it round once. Make sure you go past where you went in and then pull it down as you go. You don't lose a lot of oil. Ah, what I forgot to tell you is up on top there's actually an air bleed uh, screw which I popped and uh, made sure that the fork wasn't pressurized because if the fork is pressurized your oil that's sitting above the seal here um, you know uh, is gonna come out gush out basically when you uh, when you do that the other fork seal is dry as a bone everything is all good on that side so I'll give that fork a wipe down as well uh, before I go and wash it degrease all of this um, but I'll, uh, I'll degrease inside the uh, dust seal make sure that uh, it's not got dirt or uh, oil in that uh, before I reassemble that I'll actually uh, give a little spray with WD-40 uh, make sure that it's dry and clean uh, so give this a wipe off actually pull the bike down off the um, bike lift and um, just bounce the wheels a couple of times up and down just to make sure that I've got that seal seated properly. So that oil that's coming out there is just a, a tiny bit of the um, oil that was at the top. It's actually clean on the inside. That's not leaking now. I'll give that a wipe. Get that position better for you. Uh, so yeah, give that a wipe again. Give it a bounce. Make sure you clean your hands so you're not getting any fork oil onto your dog's toy or more importantly your brake so I don't actually touch my uh, grip when I do this I'm uh, pulling the lever on while I'm holding my back buster actually because uh, I don't want to get oil on it and uh, have another look yep so that's all all uh, sealed that's not leaking like it was before uh, probably should have demonstrated how much was coming out before but it, it left a, a distinct wet line um, what's coming out now is, is just the uh, little bits of fork oil that are up in here let me clean that give that a little degrees got a smidge just for a variety I might uh, while I've got this cover off I'll run my homemade tool around give it a good clean off it's very hard to find the right kind of bottle that doesn't have any ridges or anything or printing or anything I cut this out with a pair of scissors to have a little little bit of an edge um, I then chamfer the scissors around to make sure that there's no sharp edges that are going to catch catch on anything and potentially cut or nick your seal so it's all nice and smooth there's no no 90 degree sharp edges um, similarly you just bend it run it round all the way around keep it straight up and down inside the seal and run it past where you took it in that 
had actually got a bit more uh, junk out so possible I did have a little bit of a bit more stuff in the uh, in the seal I've always been a fan of the uh, personally of the the plastic bottle that's what I carry with me but um, Phil's bike's here at the moment and uh, this little tool sitting on his forks so I thought oh well, I'll give that a bash um, I don't actually carry that with me I, I carry that piece of plastic in my uh, in my toolkit so let's give it a degrease just a mild degreaser don't go squirt and brake clean or anything up here that could could uh, affect your uh, rubber seal for your forks I mean these things save my ass so many times they're just my best friend this and the uh, attractive rear shock I don't want to do anything um, in another 2000 k's this goes in for a service anyway and the forks and shock are getting serviced so uh, they'll put new seals in but uh, let's see how how that went usually takes a couple of wipes for the oil to come off completely oh that's a lot better yeah, so it's, it's dry up top, it's just got a bit where it uh, ended its travel. Okay, that's good now. So there's uh, no oil coming out. It's uh, just the remains of uh, what I've just wiped around there on this side of the edge of the of the seal. So that's all good. Um, I'll leave that off just to have better access to the brakes and everything for uh, degreasing it for cleaning it. Um, give it a good pre-squirt since it uh, got a bit on the rim. That was a fairly good leak as they go. Give the brakes a good wash down. This water soluble degreaser. So I'll get the steam cleaner out in a minute. But uh, yeah, just a case of uh, cleaning this off. Get this in before you steam clean it. Get your dust seal in and uh, make sure that you've got no water or degreaser or anything in this. Give that a squirt with CRC and we'll put that together later properly. Alright, so um, let's just quickly have a, uh, a peek at the air filter. Um, so, for this trip, because we had a bit of road miles and stuff, I uh, put the sheepskin on. And uh, add it to my um, turn off the alarm. Add it to my comfort level. So let's have a peek in here. So for this trip, I only had the single because it was a two-day trip. I only had this single thickness coarse filter on this was only two riders over two days so uh, I showed on a video at the end of the the wrap up from the Simpson one the um, two level thick filter skin that I had on for that so this has only been on for a week you can see quite a lot of dust I and mean, these get get a bit of oil on them uh, that's the amount of dust that the pre filter stopped on the outside very little color on the inside so we'll just pull the filter and have a look I'm pretty confident on the other side very very little and perfectly green no dust so well greased 
everything on the inside inside have a look in there brown on that side black on that side no dust whatsoever let me uh, just get a light in there so you can see all right so get some light in there and as you can see no dust getting through you can see grease all the way around this edge um, dusty on this side not dusty on that side so reach down to the bottom literally nothing so I'll just reassemble that leave it off give it all a good clean and uh, yeah get it all back together and uh, prep her up for the next ride so thanks for uh, checking it out having a look and that just shows how easy it is to uh, do a fork seal and not get worried about it that so like I said with the fork seal you just want to make sure it's clean and dry inside then it's just a case of twisting that as you push it up until it bites and then push it in flat push it up push it in and feel that it's the same all the way around put your cover back on and uh, I'll leave it off now because I'm going to clean it but uh, yeah that's the end of that cheers and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see some more of these videos. Uh, there's a couple more coming up and a few more uh, bits and pieces. So uh, yes, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Cheers.